Hey guys, this is a walk around the all new Suzuki Vitara Turbo All Grip. This is actually the update model, so there's some like slight changes which I'll be going through. Anyway, let's get to it. Towards the front, you got some LED headlamps, as you can see. It's quite nice. You can see like the really nice blue sort of, sort of blue sort of chrome finish on the outside of the headlight. Looks really cool. It's also a little bit. It's kind of like a dark sort of grey metallic finish inside the headlight, which is actually quite nice. Got a slightly, slightly reworked front end. I don't know if you can notice that. Got some nice chrome here as well. Like a grey sort of chrome. See? It's very nice. Got some LED daytime run lights on the front of the bumper there. Along with some nice chrome. Pretty cool. Little square in case you're wondering is your adaptive cruise control. Also get some more chrome that goes towards the center over there. You have four parking sensors integrated into the front bumper there. Also a pretty nice touch. This car has a fuel consumption of 5.9 liters per hundred Ks. It's also automatic. Combined tests, sorry, urban, 7.6. Extra urban, if you're very, very delicate, 4.9. All your sensors, what not. A bit hard to see there, but I'll just show you the wheels. They are metallic grey rims. Very nice. Also got little nice pieces of silver here too. They are Continental tyres, Conti Eco Contact tyres, and they are 17 inch. Cool stuff. The finish is a pearl white, it's a bit subtle. Didn't notice you also have a sunroof on this one too. In terms of the back end, it's slightly a little bit revised. So it's a bit hard because there's not much space, but you got some all black, all red. Kind of looks like a bit like a jewel, it's like a ruby sort of red sort of finish. And they're separated down, so now you've got the reverse light in the center here of the lower part of the bumper. Four parking sensors. See the Tara Turbo, all grip. LED tail lights. Nice. Got a reversing camera. The braking lights. Also, you got Suzuki's five year cap price servicing, it's a five year warranty. Manual tailgate. Got some hooks here. Got a 12 volt slash 120 watt power outlet. You've got a LED illumination there. Seats do fold down, there's a little toggle here, which I'm going to pull. And they come down. So you got the parcel shelf in the way, but I'm not removing it, so. Anyway, I'll just go around to actually give you a better look. So there's a little toggle right here. Top over here, you can see that. Pull it, comes down. Nice and flush. Oh, sorry, I was a bit loud. You can see the seats actually Lie down pretty flat, which is good, so it makes it easier to slide large items or suitcases and whatnot, which is really good. And nice. A bit more gentle. Yeah. Yeah. Show from the inside, you can see that the seats are quite flat. Very nice. Look at that. Nice and flat. Now I believe the this model is built in Hungary, whereas the rest of the models that Suzuki get built in mainly Japan. So I will double check into this, I will double check on that. So, but I believe this model is built in Hungary. But here's the interior. It's very nice, pretty solid actually, if it is the case. Very nice interior. So a little bit revised. 
Um, but it looks so much better actually. Um, ooh, these seats are really nice. Wow. Very nice touch. And it feels very solid. So the top here, you've actually got some soft touch material. I believe in the previous model, then it was all hard plastics, but here it's all very soft touch rubber. You got a little clock in the center. Got some silver accents around the trim here. You got this pretty cool piece over here, and you've got the sort of um, diamond sort of pattern, black diamond pattern, and you've got the little all grip logo there. Very cool. The other wrap string wall. Very nice. Got some black stitching here. Goes all the way around. Got some pedal shifters, minus, plus. Got some volume controls for your audio. I'll just do that so you can have to listen to see the sound. So you can see, very solid, the buttons. Very soft sound to press. Wipe controls. And your headlight indicator controls to the right. Feels very solid. Some more silver trim here. Very cool. Front here, you've got your standard speedo. I mean, your rev counter, temperature gauge for the engine, and obviously you've got your fuel gauge and temperature. I mean, fuel gauge and and speedo. Yeah. And this one doesn't show the kilometers, but some cars actually show you how many k's they've done. So that's all right. Glove box here. It's not padded, but enough room to actually put all your stuff, which is good. Got as I mentioned, you got a full sunroof. Sunroof. You've got some lighting there. Some lighting here. Sunglass holder. You have two illumination. And that's obviously the controls for your sunroof. Tilt to open close, pretty standard. Seats are pretty cool. Um, I will go through actually before that. I'll show you the spec sheet. So you got two models here. To show you, the one that we are in is the Vitara Turbo, so this is actually all the features. So you can have a good look there. Look there. I'll add that to the description below. Pretty cool stuff. And I'll just leave this here. So you got leather point seats with some silver stitching. Good bolstering here. I love this pattern here. It kind of reminds me of um. Um, and when you go in the dirt, you get the tread of the tire, which is actually pretty cool. So it's actually Alcantara, so you can see there, very cool. And very supportive, good bolstering, very solid feeling. Also, you have some more Alcantara on the door card here. Very nice. Got the window switches, feel very solid. And you've got some more over here. Center, you got your standard navigation, I mean, it's media system, which I don't have the key to actually show you. But, oh, sorry, that's pretty important. Hopefully, it didn't drop. Not all good. So, this is obviously your, um, your map data. Very important, don't lose that. So, you just leave it here. And uh, because they put them all on SD cards now, not on DVDs anymore. So, you got gloss black trim here. You got climb control. So, he heating settings here, fan speed here. All your different features, off, modes, front, rear, demisters. The buttons feel very solid, which is really good. Got a center leather armrest, fine, which is adjustable up and down. Uh, how do you, oh, there's a toggle there. Didn't see it, so there's a toggle here. Forgot to press, and then you've got some storage here, good point. You've got old school handbrake. You've got some two cup holders that can fit a 600 milliliter bottle, so you can easily fit that. Got plenty of storage on the sides here. You can easily fit a much bigger bottle here, which is good. Very cool stuff. Got different driving modes here: snow, sport, you name it. Feels very solid. Got a vinyl ship boot. Very cool. Got some hard plastics here. Got a 12 volt, 120 watt power outlet. A USB port, and you've got some storage here, which is also really, really neat. Open here, you can see you've got your push start ignition, you've got all your other options lane departure warning, headlight, forward collision, hill descent, 
And the buns feel very solid, which is actually really good. Very nice. So we've got some little hidden storage here. This will like a little wallet or keys. We've got a knee bag. Also very neat. You can probably have a good look over here. You can see Alcantara on the doors here. Very nice touch. You've got some more pan here. So they've done subtle things to make the car feel a lot more luxurious and a lot more nicer. So, yep. Yeah. I did mention the seats do fold down. Quite well. So I'll show you the rear seats here. Very neat. Very neat, which is actually pretty cool. Jump here. Same as the front seat, you've got that same sort of tread pattern, like as if you've driven in mud or dirt or some sort of off road terrain, which I do like. So it's all nice and soft, as you can see. Same Alcantara and the same pattern. Got mixture of black and silver sort of stitching, which is pretty cool. Good visibility. And you also got a cool window, so you do which minimizes that really annoying bite spot. Um, pretty good all around, lots of glass. It's good. No center armrest. The seats do fold down, didn't mention that you pull that toggle and these two seats do come down. Nice and flat. Isofix for if you've got children, small children. You do have a bit of a transmission tunnel, but it's relatively small. So you can easily put your feet, which is good. So you don't obstruct. So there you go, you've got Here's your dashboard from the rear seat. I might just move that car, it doesn't look very nice. There you go. Cleaner. It's very nice. Much more improved, much more nicer than the previous model. The previous place, facelift. Same as the front, you've got some storage on the sides here, so you can just put your drink here. You can see this, you can put a huge bottle there, which is really good. So you just got room for a really, really big drink, which is good. All hard door cards here. To show you the engine bay, so I think it's quite important. Uh, here the pricing, $39.90. I'll just quickly undo the latch for the engine. So, fuel and the latch is somewhere here. Let me show you. And, um, show you this. Okay. Here you go. Here's the boost jet engine. This is, I think, the same engine they put on the Swift Turbo. No, the no, the Swift Sport. So the same engine, I think, they put onto that one. So it's pretty cool. Vitara battery. Made in EU. Small engine. Yes. Packs quite a punch. Cool stuff. Pretty solid. And then I'll show you the obviously the. So this one's obviously because it's turbo, you run a minimum of 95 octane. So you need to obviously for the turbo. I would recommend 98. So you get a bit more oomph. Well, that's my little walk around of the new Suzuki Vitara Turbo All Group. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. This car is for sale at Penfold Suzuki. I'll leave the descriptions of the, the details of the dealer in the description below. Sorry for mistakes during the video, but um, hope you enjoyed this video. And um, feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.